guys. I just got home and uh, we got car parts. It was on the steps. So uh, gonna grab a cut of homie 3000 real quick. So I'm hoping this works out as good as I think it does. I know an issue that's gonna come up later on once my wastegate finally shows up. But I'm pretty sure I got that figured out. So I'm gonna open this and do this thing. It's taped so good. Like taped insane. So let me put you guys on the tripod. I'm gonna be so surprised if it's packaged this insanely good, like outside the box, but then the piece is just thrown in the box. Uh, receipt. Oh, sweet stickers. Thank you, 1320. Those are dope. Okay, we got tons of packing peanuts. To the point where I'm gonna make a mess pulling this out, probably. I'm gonna go dump these packing peanuts in the trash. Oh my god. Okay. No, I still got one. Cut the bubble wrap, dab the parts with the knife. Cool. Oh yeah, that looked way, way better than the cast iron manifold. Okay guys, and so this wastegate I bought, uh, or this manifold I bought was listed as a blemished manifold. And supposedly that can mean lack of hardware or maybe it's got a small scratch in it somewhere. You know, something that doesn't defect the uh, quality of the piece any. But I honestly, I don't see any scratches, guys. This thing looks good. It's heavy. Thick. Flange looks really good. Yeah, so I may have to check out the uh, paper. Let's see, but check this out. It's got the 1320 logo on the uh, runner right there. Super nice straight machined flange. This is the AC compatible manifold. This is going to tilt my manifold way, way different than the other one. So, I'm stoked. Guys, I looked out. So, I looked out as, um, as far as the blemish goes. Dude, it's got some little bitty nicks right here. So maybe from shipping. And I assume even the ones that don't count as blemish are probably going to end up with something like that. But uh, basically the only thing that's not included in this that it shows on a lot of the other manifolds is uh, gaskets. But I have brand new OEM gaskets, so I wouldn't have used the gaskets for here anyways. And I have this gasket from my cast manifold. So, I mean, I literally have everything I need. And these studs are all the same length it looks like. Which I like the fact of how the stopper is on these. Because, uh, I don't know, they just thread in way better and actually bought them out where they should. Unlike my uh, cast manifold that you guys would have seen in the last video. So, so far, I totally recommend getting one of these 1320 manifolds. Uh, honestly, they look brilliant. Like, the welds they even take and clean up and pour out, they don't just leave super rough, nasty looking welds. The flanges, you can see them lines for the machine and they're super straight. And then... And they are the ones, the teeth on the bottom, so... I just gotta pull the old one off and uh, get this bad boy installed. Oh, hey. 
seems to block really well. This pipe's got to be oriented entirely different now. But... Huh. All right, guys. Turbo's bolted up. Oil feed's bolted up. So you can see, it wraps around here now, from the back. Um, maybe I'll end up tightening it a little bit as long as it clears the intake. I don't really care. Um, if need be, I'll run a little clip thing right here to hold it down off the intake. Just to keep a nice smooth bend. Timing cover and stuff will be over here so this won't be in the way of anything. See it runs through underneath the manifold, which it is touching a little right there. Which I'll have to do something about, which once it's actually tightened, it should stay something like that. Out of the way, not touching. That'll work good. Um, the drain. Obviously, this is going to be brought in a lot more. I don't have anything to tighten this right now. All this stuff's got to be thread taped again, but basically it'll start and bend this way and then this hose will be shortened because it's only going to go to, you know, like here, which this won't run upward like that to keep it at a nice steady running downward. Um, you know, it'll be cut like right in here where my finger's at and I'll have a line like that. So that means now that with this crazy angle on it to clear the AC compressor, the down pipe's going to have to go like either I can up pipe it and have a really tall up pipe like way up here or it's just going to have to come right bend down like almost forward and then start to bend back before it ever gets to the pipe. I'll probably have to wrap this pipe more than likely just to keep it from getting hot which luckily that's before it goes into the intercooler, but you still don't want that getting too hot. And then it can shoot down into the training tunnel, or we can do one of these numbers where we come down and out the front bumper and just send it, which is a really, really good possibility of what I'm gonna do. Um, really hate to cut into the M1's front bumper, but at this point, this thing's becoming a little more weekend race car, less show car. Um, not a crazy angle or anything clocked on this now. Um, got to keep it clocked back just a little bit to keep it off the housing there. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. It works pretty good. And then the wastegate, I have to get an adapter. The wastegate I bought for the other crappy manifold over there. Um, it's not V-band. So we're going to get a, I'm probably just going to leave this V-band just in case I decide to switch later on. But I'm going to get a 44 millimeter to 38 millimeter uh, adapter. And then my dump tube will either run down here or it'll have some crazy pipe to follow along and just, yeah, I don't know. Still got a lot to figure out, but overall, that's how she looks. Looks a million times better. Plenty of clearance here. The pipe, oh, that's loud. This pipe, um, it's a little sagging, but it'll be more where it's supposed to be now for the links because then the other pipe that bends around, it's not sticking out, you know, way past the engine now, which means that should be pretty close to relevant. So, that's where I'm at with the EM1, guys. Everything's looking pretty good. Um, I'm just waiting on parts right now. I don't really have anything else out except for the wastegate, which is on back order. And uh, I gotta order... Honestly, at this point, I just need to get my drink. I need to get the head fixed. Like spring, that's probably my next move is I'm going to go ahead and have the head built so I can get that thing back, get the valve seals in it. Um, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. There's the valve seals, the skunk two seals. I need to get springs and retainers ordered. And then I may go ahead and order a new set of cam gears instead of using the ones that are in the blue car. I don't know. I would like everything to be just supposedly those break. I haven't had an issue with the 5 AEM cam gears, but I've heard so many rumors of people breaking them. So I may go ahead and buy something a little different for this. I may go ahead and just get another set of Skunk 2 ones just because there's so much other Skunk 2 stuff on the car. But, uh, yeah, it's getting there. And everything's starting to look good. And I may even go ahead and throw this intake back on there. I don't know. I kind of like how the Pro Series fits and keeps it streetable. Something about just seeing the big turbo with the skunk tool ultra and stuff. If I can get that idle air control valve set up fixed and get the piping edited to work with that ultra manifold, then that'll work good. And it seems that my throttle cable works better with the ultra than the pro series for some reason too, which makes zero sense because 
the Pro Series is way more close to how the factory meant would have been. But I didn't have any sticking issues with the throttle body until I put that Pro Series manifold on there. So that's where I'm at, guys. Sorry for the long rant. Hope you like this video. Hope you're liking this uh, Turbo B16 content. Let's be sure to, uh, you know, give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs down if you didn't like the video. And then, go yourself. And then, uh, yeah, so subscribe if you're not already. And I'm out.